Microsoft just gave me VIP access to the new Copilot and I just wanted to show you all of the features that are amazing and will help you be more productive at work. So let's dive deep into it. I am right now in the preview version of M365 Copilot, really VIP access, and I will use the brand new agent, the researcher that will help you do some really deep research. And it's based on the O3 model for those who know a little bit more about AI, the large language model for these who don't know about it. It's just a stronger model that will help you by reasoning and help you do some research as well. So I'm just going to do this prompt right here. Help me prepare for my meetings next week. Since it is in Copilot, it is linked to my meetings in a Microsoft Outlook and all of my calendar. And then I ask here for all the meetings, give me the necessary background and context and suggestions on how to make the meetings efficient, provide recommendations on how to handle meeting conflicts and call any trivia related to the people or the topic of the meeting. I will just hit send and then the researcher will do its work. It's a uh, pretty quick and here we go. Copilot just tells me, Hey, if you want me to proceed, tell me, go ahead. So I will just click here on go ahead. And while it is loading and I will get back to this a little bit later, I will show you the brand new Copilot create, which is legit the best tool I've ever seen to make some images. And I'm not even kidding. We'll come back to the researcher a little bit later. So uh, I want to show you here. I already prompt something for you guys making this uh, thumbnail, this YouTube thumbnail that you have clicked on. I asked the following. So I said, uh, describe your image. So I described a YouTube thumbnail that goes with this title. Microsoft gave me VIP access to the new copilot. So I'm showing it to you. Add the guy in the attached image to do it and make him do a sh sign on his mouth. So as you can see here, I put a picture of myself and I will go back into Copilot just to show you the results. So that's what Copilot uh, came up with. Actually, it came up with some other versions uh, before that, but I changed a few things, but you can see the final results. And what is cool is that it works just like ChatGPT. You know, uh, the uh, basically ChatGPT, you can actually make some new images. I'm sure you've seen the starter pack trend uh, lately. But what's cool is that it is really like integrated, like if you will have a Canva on top of it, which means you can actually remove stuff. So I will basically remove the background here by instance, which is not what I wanted to do. <laughs> not quite the result that I wanted to do, but you know, you can act on the image versus keeping prompting and then the results are not like you want. I will click on the undo button at the top. It will remove uh, the thing here and I will actually try and erase an image or an object in the image. So I want to get rid of the Microsoft logo here because I want to replace it with a Copilot logo. So I just have to click here on my media and actually upload from my device and I will go select my Copilot logo in my assets. And here we go. We got the Copilot logo and I will just click here. And here we go. I have a beautiful thumbnail that is actually a thumbnail that you've clicked on. We can do uh, many, many changes. As you can see, I could blur the background. I could create a sticker. Let's say I want to create a sticker with this guy, create a sticker. And then I can just copy and paste my face pretty much everywhere. Pretty fun. So it just acts like Canva, but it is based on the GPT 4.0 model, which is uh, powering chat GPT right now. Pretty, pretty powerful. So you just got now uh, something that is completely on brand. If you want to add text, which I think is a really great feature, I want to add text here and say, subscribe to my channel. <laughs> you see what I did there. And you have these quick, quick um, formatting here, subscribe to my channel. And I will add this at the bottom right of my thumbnail, but I hope you see what I did there. So hit this button down here. All right, let's get back to uh, my researcher agent right here and see how it done. Okay, I have to admit uh, Copilot is in this preview version. So I actually had a few issues. Uh, I made it work actually, but the results are pretty impressive. So here we go. So I, I first asked Copilot help me prepare for my meetings next week and then it asked me a question and then remember I said go ahead. I told him also to focus on the Monday meeting with the sales team and this is the power of an agent, right? You let it run or while you go to the toilet or whatever and then look at this. When I click here, I got all of the steps 
that the agent has done. By instance, it's compiling the meeting details and context. It's outlining the Dakota's role and projects. It's planning the report structure. It's clarifying its search results. It's deciding on the event structure and all of that. So it is way more powerful than the copilot that you have known before. And look at this. We asked Copilot to prepare all of the meeting scheduled for next week. It's detailing me all of the meetings that we have. At 12 p.m., we have the workshop with the pros where R and D. And then we can click here. It will bring you to the meeting, right? Or you can actually have some options here that you can ask more questions. I won't do that because I'm in this test environment. And then if I keep scrolling down, it actually listed all of the meeting. And then on Monday, since I asked it to focus on the Monday meeting, it's giving me an overview of the project status. It went through all of the documents attached in my emails related to this project or in my Outlook calendar. Uh, I actually don't know these meetings because we're in this test environment and it's giving me all of the attendees roles and all of that. It's giving me a quick meeting agenda and how to be efficient with this meeting, the quick wins and updates. Then we shall talk about the sales strategy for 10 minutes and then the decision point, right? It is pretty interesting. It's giving me the action items. Eric and David should prepare a client facing product FAQ by Wednesday. And remember in this first prompt, if I scroll up, I asked for a recommendation on how to handle the conflicts and call out any trivia related to the people or to the topic of the meeting. And if I scroll down again, you will see that it actually answered these questions right here, buffer and conflict check and the wrap up and trivia. And we have these recommendations for handling conflict. So pretty thorough information here by my researcher agent. So what it does, it's going to research deeply in all of your documents, all of your files in your 365 environment to give you as much context as it can on these meetings. So basically it also gave me the other meetings, but we asked it to focus on Monday. So as you can see how Monday was way more thorough than all of these other meetings. So this is the power of an agent. It basically went to all of the history. So you have a recurring meeting going on for more than eight weeks. You've been absent, you want a recap. This is the kind of thing that the researcher can do to make sure you don't miss anything. The last new feature I want to show you is the co-pilot analyst agent. So you might know by now that I only go by the data set of the Piggy Beans Cafe. If you're new to this, it's just typical daily sales data with roughly 2000 lines of data. And if you don't have Copilot in Excel, or if you haven't tried it, it can do nice stuff, but it's pretty basic, you know? So I'm going to use the pre-built prompt here that the analyst agent is suggesting me, which is this one right here. What are some quick insights about the data from the uploaded file? And I will add my files. Here we go. I'm drag and dropping my file here and I hit send and I'm very, very eager to see what the analyst agent will tell me. As you can see, very complex stuff going on right here with all the Python script that is getting written, something that I just can't understand because I'm just an accountant. And I will get back to you in a few seconds with the results and we'll see together if Copilot analyst agent is giving me some great insights on my data set or if it's not quite relevant. <laughs> All right, so Copilot did a lot of analysis. As you can see here, it analyzes the data set structure. It's performing data analysis. And you have to admit that my prompt was a very, very generic, not specific enough, as I like to teach people, goal, context, expectation, source, when you're prompting. Uh, in this case, look at the results though. It says that there is a total records of roughly 1800 daily coffee transaction records. And uh, I see my average price by product and the quantity sold by region, the sales over month and, and many other notable insights. And Copilot asked me, would you like to dive deeper into any specific aspect of the data or need further analysis? I will say, please make a chart of sales evolution by year and by month. There you go. 
Copilot is doing its little thing. Again, this is a using a new data model to do its analysis and doing a lot of complex stuff. And I'll get back to you with the results in a few seconds. All right, pretty cool. We've got this sales evolution by year and month. I think the chart isn't very what I wanted, but I can ask Copilot, can you make sure to split these two years so I can see the whole 24 months? in the same chart there we go so my prompt wasn't very specific wasn't very tailored but copilot analyst agent can do more complex stuff than it could in the past without this very deep model and here we go you just have to ask ai what you want and be very specific my prompt wasn't very good but as you can see I have way better data here. That is actually good. I always triple check my data when it comes to AI, but analyzed my data set and made this a beautiful chart, which I think is amazing. Hope you enjoyed the first glimpse into the Copilot new world. And if you want to watch a video, YouTube is recommending you this video right here. So I think you should watch it. And if you want to learn in a more structured way, you go to learncopilot.ai and I will catch you in another video.